morning everybody and welcome to my channel so today is so pretty out it has been like snowing a lot last night and this morning kind of off and on right now it's snowing and they're like big soft chunky snowflakes it's beautiful i love it um and just like our whole city is looking so pretty we are just getting ready to go to church we're gonna be leaving in like 20 minutes and that's something that was on my 2022 goals for this year was to start joining communities again, going to church again. And last year we did go to church a few times, but it was just one that was like really close to us. And like it was nice there, but it was such a small community of older people. So, I mean, when we're trying to go out and find like friends, that just makes it a little more difficult. So we're going to a new church today, which I'm pretty positive will have a lot of younger people in it. It's an ICF church if you're from Germany. I don't know if that's more common in Germany. I, I don't know. I've never heard of an ICF church in Canada before, but maybe there are some, I don't know. I'm wearing my new scarf that I got from my parents because we finally got this package. I know I've been talking about this package so much lately and it was such a big deal. Like, I'm just gonna rant a little bit about it. So, since we knew that we weren't gonna be able to go to England to be with my family for Christmas, they were going to ship our Christmas gifts to us. and. I also bought a laptop in Canada and I bought it in Canada because it's so much less expensive in Canada because of the taxes and everything. And so when I bought the computer in Canada, I was just gonna have my parents bring it and I would go to England and pick it up from them and just bring it back and it would have been fine. But then they had to include it in this package. So they send the package and originally they sent it to my in-laws house because it was supposed to come over New Year's and we were going to be there for that week. So they got it sent there instead of here because we weren't here. And then there were so many delays and it was kind of frustrating because like the first thing, and this was our fault, is that my grandmother gave me some cash and they just put it into the package because it was an insured package so we paid extra for it to be insured because there was like a computer in it and stuff but then it got stopped before it even left England because in the fine print it says that you're not allowed to put cash in it and we didn't know that but they didn't tell us anything about it so it just kind of sat there for like four days and we didn't know where it was or anything and we were calling the this was sent through DHL. So we were calling the German DHL and they didn't know anything about it because of the England DHL and because of Brexit, everything was like so split up and everything and just even more complicated. And then we finally got that settled. They ended up opening the box, taking the cash out and then sending it back to my sibling's apartment in England. So now it finally gets ship to us and then the problem is because we're no longer at my in-laws house we came back here because we had to come back we got them to change the shipping address and that was totally fine they said it's no big deal and even on the day that it was supposed to be delivered we called them and we like double checked that it was coming to the right address and then like half an hour later it goes to the wrong address so that was just kind of frustrating because then we had to drive like five hours just to go and pick up our package. <sighs> but that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that we opened up the package and we found that my computer has a huge scratch all the way down the backside. And when my parents packed it, they wrapped it up in like a ton of bubble wrap and they taped it up. So it was like really safe and secure. And then, I don't know why they opened it, but they just like cut it open with like a box cutter or like just a, like a knife and just like the whole way scratched down the back side of the laptop. So now 
tomorrow, I mean today's Sunday, so on Monday, we have to call them again and talk to them about this. And just this whole ordeal, just this whole package has been so ridiculous. <laughs> so I don't think my parents are ever gonna send us a package ever again because this is such an experience. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of my little rant. This has been, we've been talking about this for so long and yeah, it feels good to rant about things sometimes. On a more positive note though, one thing that I was doing this morning, I, I was on here for like half an hour. So I heard about delicious, oh, what is her name? So I think I heard of this like foodie influencer before. Her name is Naturally Ella but all of her recipes are vegan or vegetarian which is like personally how I prefer to eat so I'm just like I've been looking at her recipes for half an hour and they just all look so good so I think I'm gonna have to like work through some of her recipes and try them out I think today or maybe tomorrow because we have leftovers for today anyways I think tomorrow I'm gonna see what we have and try and make something out of it from her recipes because they just look so good. But now we need to boogie and get to church in time. So see you guys later. got home from church maybe around an hour ago and then I just had some leftovers and honestly I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day it's snowy and pretty wet like really wet snow outside so we decided not to go for a walk because also when we came home from church we had to uh, shovel the driveway and that was that was a lot of work because it was really heavy wet compact snow but anyways yeah uh, I'm working through like different series and like movies that I know really well in English and I'm just going through and watching them in German so today I'm gonna start watching Harry Potter in German for the first time and I don't know how I don't know how that's gonna be because I love Harry Potter so much in English and just uh, it's not the same when it's translated because the voices are different. So we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go and I will try and endure it for the sake of my German and my language journey. Good morning, everybody. So last night was just nice relaxing it kept snowing last night all through the night and it's even more snowy today so i think we're gonna go for like a little winter walk just in our area or something to get out into the snow play around a little bit um and i also wanted to talk to you guys about something so i i think i mentioned in a vlog I don't know, maybe like a month ago, I was telling you that when I get monetized, I'm going to do something special. And I'm still gonna do that, but my plans have kind of changed. So first of all, thank you all for subscribing and letting me get to this point. Like, it's, it's a pretty big deal for me and my husband because, you know, this is just with our lives this is the life that we have chosen for ourselves we are living away from my family and the just even the possibility of us having like another income even if it's really small could really benefit us with that because it means that we could go and visit my family without it being such a huge deal that we need to save and save and save a whole year for some flights to Canada so it means a, a lot to me and 
I'm gonna, I'm going to just tell you guys what my original plan was when I got monetized. It all kind of starts a year ago, maybe, maybe more than a year ago. I can't remember exactly when, but there's another YouTuber. He's Canadian. His name is Levi Hildebrand, and I think he just changed his channel name. It's now Levi and Leah, and they make predominantly environmental videos and things like that. And in one of their videos, they became a member of 1% for the Planet. If you haven't heard of 1% of the Planet, you can sign on there and become a member as a business or as an individual. And then 1% of your income goes to different organizations. And basically 1% of your income is donated. And I really wanted to do that. And that was kind of my goal that when I got monetized, I wanted to sign up and become a 1% for the planet member. Now here's the thing, um, I am monetized now, but I have no idea like how much I even could make this year. I don't even know if I'm gonna make a $500 this year, you know? It's just completely unknown at this point because it just started. And when you become a member of 1% for the planet, you have to put in your income to determine like how much you actually are going to donate. And that's the thing, I don't, I have no idea what my income is going to be. And so we kind of decided that maybe next year we'll do that. So I can actually have a bit of an understanding like how much I could actually earn from YouTube. And in the meantime, I have something else planned, but I have to wait like probably a few months until I do that, until I get my first paycheck and then there will be something happening. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys because I talked about it before and then nothing really happened, but plans have changed, something is happening, so stay tuned for that because I'm actually really excited about it. So yeah but anyways i also do just want to really thank you guys for subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed and you're watching this then please do subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> so we're getting ready to go for a walk and i kind of feel like an infant in this <laughs> i knitted this like a month ago and i haven't really worn it outside i don't know i'm a little embarrassed to wear it but it's also gonna be like so nice and warm <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna go with it. I remember like my mom calling me and my siblings when we were all bundled up like this, she would call us babushkas. But I don't know, is babushka for a baby or is babushka for a grandma? I thought babushka was grandma. I don't know, if you know, write it down in the comments for us. <laughs> Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England never know But when I see my friends I see them with this golden glow It seems they can touch the rainbow I guess I'll never know, never know, never know Would that be me? If I stay in my city now that we're back from our lovely little walk i'm gonna make some lunch a later lunch for today and i was looking through naturally ella's uh website and all of her recipes and i think the one that i'm gonna make today is the pasta and chickpeas it's kind of like it, it kind of looks like a almost like a tomato soup and with pasta and chickpeas in it. Um, I think it's gonna be really great and nice for a cold day after a walk outside. So let's make that. And often we're reminded to enjoy each day and find it in ourselves to show some gratitude for every moment through and through. I try so hard to just be present. Mom will slip the adolescence. I can't help but wonder, but I guess I'll never know it. What the other book looks like.
So it's now the next day and we're just getting ready to go shortly to um, like a knee appointment that I have. So my knee has been bothering me honestly for like years but just in the last year it's been getting a lot worse and I'm really excited to have it looked at and see if there's something wrong with it and especially see if there's something that I can do to help it. <laughs> So I'm going to an appointment today and I'll tell you guys how it goes when we get back. So it is now much later in the day as you can probably tell and I do have to apologize because I know that when I film like in the evenings after the sun goes down then like the lighting is just terrible. So sorry about that but I did want to round up this vlog and finish it today for you guys. So what happened with my appointment today well i mean the first thing is that this morning i was i don't know why i just kind of thought that i was getting a, a scan done like an mri scan on my knee done today and then my husband um gently reminded me that i'm not getting a scan today it's just like a normal uh checkup with an orthopedic doctor so then i went and they were doing these checks and in the end the doctor said like it doesn't really seem like there's anything noticeably wrong with my knee so then they do need to get an MRI because they were like moving my leg in different ways to see if there was any pain or like a reaction or something and like all of those checks were totally fine which you know I'm happy about but at the same time it, it does kind of make me worried because I just hope that whatever is wrong with my knees, I can actually get fixed. So in the meantime, I'm going to be getting a knee brace and I think it'll be interesting to try that. I've never had one of those before. And then also we're going to have to book an MRI scan. I think it's an MRI scan. I can't remember. It's on my, it's on a paper. I need to get that done and then we will know more about what could potentially be wrong, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys have been having a great week so far and my best wishes for the rest of this week. If you like this video then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!